Alright, this is my new gasifier plans, the newest one I, I came up with, thanks to uh, Flash001 USA. Uh, I saw your videos and uh, came up with a better idea for my gasifier that I'm, that I'm going to be building relatively soon. But it will go from invert gasifier, which I have my intake, I'm going to try and design it so it goes straight down. I don't want to have any rest like restrictions whatsoever. Just make a e quick, easy pipe straight down, and then I have my ignition port. But I have a few questions about having to have this anyway, or using this instead of this. So I want to go into that later. But there's my gasifier. Then from there, it goes into my expansion tank, which. Uh, Yes, I didn't think about that in automotive air conditioning. That's what I, I went to school for that and all that whatnot. And didn't think about using that. But thanks to Flash. Then goes from into a radiator, like intercooler. And then from out from there, it'll go from a cyclone filter into another cooler. Out from there to uh, the scrub tank full of, uh, um, like, from my idea, I'm thinking maybe, like, I heard you guys were using stainless steel, uh, Brillo pads or kind of thing, whatever. Uh, I was thinking I also heard to use, like, lava rocks, uh, which I could probably get them readily more easier and cheaper than the uh, st uh, stainless steel scrub scrubbers. But there, from, from there, it goes into another cooler, and then... Here's a pump, and then it goes into a wood part filter. Hold on, I gotta let my dog out. Go. Wood, wood dust. Uh, got man, it's slipping my mind. Uh, wood shaving, wood dust, wood chip, whatever filter. And then from there, here, here's my idea. I was wondering if it would work, but um, damp rid filter. I mean, the, designed to suck the moisture out of the out of the ga uh, out of the air. So I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad or not. So I have no idea. And then it goes into a paper filter, and then out into the pump, and then out. But that's my gasifier idea. And each one has a reservoir. Each place that, that that can accumulate water can will have a place to go. But yeah, this is my newest idea. But then here's here's another one that was kind of like eh. That's what I had before, and it didn't look it didn't look that good. It didn't look like an order to me. But here was an old. FEMA gasifier I was thinking of and this is the reason why I got a question sorry for the camera cut now I hit the button by accident dang touch screens but yeah this is the FEMA design uh, gasifier and my my idea was or like my question was like before it was like this like why needing the ignition port and all this whatnot like for this is what I'm more or less questioning it for is why couldn't this be an ember if you just cover the top and just use your ignition port as the air? I don't know if you guys thought about just using that as the jet in a FEMA to, to burn the tar and whatnot. So I have, if you could get back to me on that question, that would be a really good idea. And then I kind of designed a, like a catch, catch bin and then with like a little lid. Or like a bottom that would, with a spring that would just open up, you can dump it out. But then, here's a flow chart. Ah. Sorry for this. I'm not, not paying attention to you. Yeah. Well, too bad. I gotta do this. What? All right. Well, this is.
this is my gasifier plan. Like, this is a flow chart. This was going to be like a double cyclone filter. So, kind of wasn't thinking of it, but they're two kind of like expansion tanks. Wasn't wasn't thinking about it. But, yeah, they go into uh, an intercooler and then into a, a wood dust filter. And then it'll go out to a pump. And then out to your generator. And then you got your, like, TV. You can power your TV, a fan, a light, your whole house, a laptop. All off of just putting a battery in this, just to start it off. That's, this would be a, a Rio stat, like a, a house uh, dimmer switch. Yeah, but this, I've been working on these plans for like a good over a year now, and I've been watching all the videos and all that whatnot. There's an, un, an unfinished plan. Oh, this is like one of the very first ones. I was thinking of the reason why I always had two is that I have three. I don't know if you guys can see that the sun's really bright, but I have three uh, helium tanks, and the I had the two smaller ones at the end since the beginning, and I've always and my dad had a retirement week just got this one for uh, blowing up his balloons. And, uh, yeah, so that made it three, but because this one's bigger, I'm making this one my expansion tank, this one cyclone filter, and then this one the, uh, scrub filter. We want to go back in? All you gotta do is bark at me. Um, but yep, that, that's that plan. This is my modification number two, unfinished plan. Then downdraft. It's all, I believe is what it's called, a downdraft gasifier. But this is how I was thinking of doing it. It's going to be small. I don't have the, the expansion tank because I drew this a lot. I didn't, th I didn't think about having, having that. I didn't see those videos. So... And I was using a FEMA design, but I was always wondering if you would, you, if you could do a, just cover the, just, just cover the top of a FEMA and just use the ignition port. And that could be, would that turn that into a invert? Like, cause then it's right there at the burn. But yeah, it's all the same. It's all closed quarters. This is small. I'm trying to make it like, what? Yeah. Wind. Sorry for the wind, again. But I, I've been drawing them up, trying to figure out an idea. See, my my idea with using a shake breaker, like how everybody's like, it's on chains and whatnot. My idea was to bolt it to the side and have like like a uh, a choke pull. Then you can just keep pulling it back and forth, and then it just rocks back and forth. And yeah, it should clean it, and then it falls into a falls into a little thing, and then I have a mount, and just you can open it up to clean it out. So if you can see this, see this. and then see how they have the reservoirs. I wasn't thinking uh, I needed one down there, but I needed there. I, that, that's a bad place to have the intercooler, so that's a scratch. I'm scratching really this idea of having it this year and putting it up here and up, up higher, more in the wind, cooler it gets. So I'm going with that. The higher, the higher the gas goes, the cooler it gets. And I don't want to. I don't want to have it have it too high. So that's another thing. I want to have it like compact. So, and then this is just a plain, just simple gasifier plan I mean you can't do it like this is just your like a you got your drum with like a pipe down the middle of it and it goes up into the intake and then out into a, a little plane so. and here's another drawing my whole plan is to make the whole motor really separate from the whole gasifier is the really the one that when I get through all the filters 
Like this one doesn't even have the other filters I have on it. But uh, yeah, I want to make the motor completely like that pumps it completely off, and then a really short line to a, to the generator, and uh, because then it will prime it, and then I don't have far to suck it in it. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't even have, yeah, this one's an unfinished one, I don't even have a reservoir there, so. Oh. And then here's another one. It's going through a wood dust filter. So. Nope, that's it, but the, I got three of, I believe, all the six, I think, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, I only got three of the five, there's three out of four, oh, yeah, boy, they still, I can't count right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, so I got these three, so I gotta get four. I got two pumps, so no, no, they're they're easy. So, so I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I don't don't have this, don't have this, 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 but I have these tanks. I don't have these neither, so I got a lot more. Actually, I need to get. Yeah, it's really windy here today. But yeah, if you. But yeah, if you had a question, if you can answer the question to the FEMA idea, is just like, all right, just closing off the top and just using the ignition port. Like how, um, I, I think, what was it? Joshua Burks? Josh, yeah, whatever. Sorry if I'm messing up your name, but I saw your FEMA gasifier, and that would, that's what inspired me to do the FEMA idea. Then I saw the flashes, and I don't, I'm like, ooh, that one's even better. I'm like, not, not downing viewers, but. but. I was just wondering if it's simple enough to just turn a FEMA into just covering the top and using the ignition, like your your idea of the ignition port. That's why I'm saying I got the, I was using your uh, Joshua Burks's ignition port idea. So, just wondering if just using that and covering the top would that turn it into a FEMA or not a FEMA, but a uh, an invert? Sorry. But that's I don't know what else to say, but that's my beginning of my gasifier. And hopefully I'll get this done. Oh I got I got something else. Yeah, my mini bike. I've had this for like years. I'm just completely rebuilt it, got a new engine on it. Honda five horsepower, and I mean it's quiet, it's per it purrs, and I also got a Honda Metropolitan scooter, and it needs a new exhaust, and they're both roughly the size same size exhaust. And I was gonna take that exhaust and put it on here and make make it all like oh cool looking and probably be a little bit quieter, because <coughs> that thing purrs, and they're both the same horsepower. <coughs> But this one has a whole hell, of a whole hell of a lot more torque. But with my idea was because I'm a little bit big to drive it now, a little old, not too old, but yeah. But right here, right in the corner, right, right up in here, I was gonna put an alternator and try and get like a little battery and um, try to make it into a generator. I have uh, like 14 power inverters. Um, I'm doing the whole living off the grid, trying to get that doing. I have a property that I go to, and it's this is the reason why I want to do it. But yeah, this is I want to make this into a generator, and this can run off the gasifier. But I mean, I also want to make it so I can also drive it around, also still. So I was like, who would have a generator mini bike? Da -da -da -da. So yeah. Starts up. I mean, this thing you could do wheelies on it without a problem. But yeah, I want to make this into a little generator. And uh, and if I can make a big one in a doomsday event, this would be my vehicle of choice. 
simpler is the best. This is my vehicle of choice, made by a huge ass gasifier and running in the back. But yep. This would be all. So, we'll catch you later. This is another thing too. I also have uh, two uh, Harbor Freight uh, solar panels. Uh, they work, I mean, awesome. With, without any problems. Uh, I have two of them. I only have one up set up right now. Uh, I have another one downstairs. That's for uh, back emergency backup if I need poor power. But I have the power running into my basement, into my room. So. And I have uh, all. Oop, my finger's covered in the camera. But yeah, I have uh, all the uh, my lights running off of uh, the solar panel. So it's like pretty sweet. So. Quack a beer!